This is a redstone 8-bit processor I made in Minecraft. It has an adder subtractor unit, a set of 8-bit registers, a clock for control pulses, a read-only memory tape, a bit shifter, a move operation, and a multiplication tower. Down here we have the 8-bit data bus with three different layers which sends information between all the different parts of the computer. The computer's primary function is to calculate the sine of any angle. This is the input-output display attached to register A. There are four registers total, each storing eight bits. The top is register A, then register B, register C, and register D, as you guessed. Each register stores a fractional binary number. The first column is the ones place, the second is the halves place, then the quarters, eighths, sixteenths, thirty-two, and so on. The final slot shows the halt state. To find the sine of pi over three, we enter its binary equivalent into the computer. By pressing the register buttons, we can enter the number 1.00001110. When soul sand appears in a slot, the corresponding bit has been set. Now you can see all of the digits entered into the computer. We will start computation by pressing the on button. As you can see, the clock signal travels in a long delay loop. The tape occasionally rotates so that new instructions can be read. The read head detects whether the selected blocks are transparent or opaque. The nether brick and slow sand determine instructions to be executed. Now we must wait three minutes for computation to complete. For your convenience, I have sped up the video. And we're done. The green indicator light shows that the process has been completed. We find that the sine of pi over 3 in binary is 0 0.1110001. This equals 0 0.88, which is acceptably close to the actual value of 0 0.87. The machine uses Taylor polynomials of degree 5 in order to calculate sine values. The processor is designed to do this as a bare minimum and is thus not Turing complete. This circle plots the output of the machine for 16 different input angles. It is very round. As another example, we'll find the sine of pi over 6. As before, we'll load the digits into the corresponding bits of the A register.
the number entered is 0 0.100010. This time we'll sit in the memory tape and watch as the pistons move it around. the CPU has again reached a halting state. The result is 1 half, which is the exact value of sine of pi over 6. Finally, we'll view the CPU at nighttime, and we'll calculate the sine of pi over 2. I've entered the number into register A, so I can start the computer now. The output is very close to 1, the actual value of sine of pi over 2. Thanks for watching, keep listening to the music if you want to. Okay, maybe this song was too long. You can download it if you want. You should go leave now. Goodbye!